What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome to a Madden experiment video here on the channel. Now today, I know you guys already know what the video is by the thumbnail and the title. But I just feel like I have to say it. We are going to figure out the question that NFL GMs and coaches have wondered since he entered the league back in like 2017, 2018. I don't remember when he entered the league, but but it's probably a bad thing because he's horrible. But, but anyway, without getting carried away, we are going to try and figure out if you can win a Super Bowl with Mitchell, the worst quarterback I've ever seen, Trubisky, as your starting quarterback. That is right. Start your so we are going to be if you wish to change roles or We are going to be the Bears, the we are going to be Matt Nagy, and we are going to try and win a Super Bowl with good old fashioned Mitch. Now, the only thing that I'm going to change is the regular season we're going to start in. But everything else, actually there's a couple things in here that I want to change. Um, we're going to change deadline to be off because I don't care about the trade deadline. We're going to have as much time as we want to trade. Um, everything else is off. Pre-existing injury is off. Um, everything else seems to be right. Get rid of those tutorial pop-ups and that's fine. So everything else is right and we can get into it. All right, and we're back. We're in week one of the, pre or of the regular season with Mitch as our quarterback. We're going to upgrade all of these players because we don't care about them. Uh, we're going to set our season goal as make it to the Super Bowl because that's the goal that we're that we are um, trying to do here. All right, let's take a look at the main man himself. The man who this video is based around. There he is, Mitchell Trubisky, 26 years old, 73 overall, 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 agility. He's moved up a little bit in change of direction. He's got some horrible stats over here. He's got 84 throw on the run, 79 deep accuracy, 76 medium, 83 short, 88 throw power. All right, this guy's basically a bum. So what we're going to be doing here is trying to build the team around Mitchell Trubisky that's good enough to win a Super Bowl with him as the quarterback. So obviously we're going to take advantage of all these free agents in here. We're going to sign Earl Thomas. Um, we're going to sign, uh, nobody else unless we can trade them. We might be able to use the cheese. We, we're going to sign Devontae Freeman just to possibly use him as some trade bait to get some better players and stuff. We're going to sign, uh, Darius Geis because he's young and in this, in, in Madden logic, he's never hit a, a child or anything. I forget what he did. He did some domestic violence thing. I don't know, but we're going to use these guys. These guys are too old. Nobody's going to want them. That's why they're still in free agency. Uh, these guys are old. Eric Reed could be used in some sort of trade. Uh, anybody else that's kind of young that we could use in a trade? Alder Grossos. Nobody wants a kicker. Um, uh, now we're getting kind of into the garbage. All right. So we're going to use those guys that we, that we just got. And we're going to try and make some trades here to... Uh, make this team as good as possible so we need a well, how's our wide receivers looking we got Allen robinson anthony miller we need a better wide receiver we have garbage absolute trash wide receivers so we're going to take Devonte freeman we are going to you know what we're going to keep Devonte freeman we're going to take darius geis we're going to shop him around the bills are the first team that want him do they have a good wide receiver that we can get besides how easy is stefan Diggs to get just just curious He's not that easy to get. So, <clears throat> I don't want anybody else there. So, now we go back here. The Bucks, they have some good wide receivers. They have uh, Goodwin. Chris Goodwin that we could possibly get. How good? How easy is he to get? And about the same as Stefan Diggs. All right, all right. They have John Ross for some reason. Uh, Chargers have Mike Williams that we could possibly get. Could we get Mike Williams? 
Trade declined. How is that declined? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Uh, we'll give them... We'll give them... We'll give them Eric Sober or Sobert. <laughs> is that accepted? Okay, so we traded Darius guys for Mike Williams. Now we have a little bit better of a wide receiving core. Uh, we have Allen Robinson, Mike Williams, and Anthony Miller as our three wide receivers. And Riley, R Riley Ridley is there, so that's good. That's done. Our running back room is full, but I'm happy with what it's looking like. And we can always move Cordell Patterson to wide receiver to make that a little bit better as well. So that's probably what we're going to do, honestly. Uh, quarterback, obviously, is Trubisky. Um, let's look at the tight ends here. We've got Jimmy Graham, which is decent. Demetrius Harris and Cole Kimmett. So we're going to need to get a better backup tight end. Uh, Earl Thomas... Uh, can I move Earl Thomas? I might trade uh, Tayshawn Gibson and then move Earl Thomas to strong safety. That might be the move. But, okay, let's go with this. Who's interested in Tayshawn Gibson for a tight end? We could get Gasecki probably. Uh, the Colts. Panthers, Raiders, Ravens. Ravens got a couple good tight ends, I think. Let's check and see what they got. They got... Nick Boyle, which could be a decent backup tight end. How easy is it to get Nick Boyle? Pretty hard, actually. That's crazy. All right. Uh, Steelers, I don't think they have any. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll trade him. All right. Tight ends. Vance McDonald could be a decent tight end, I guess. Okay, straight up. Straight up for... Tayshawn Gibson was Vance McDonald. So now we got Jimmy Graham and Vance McDonald and Jimmy or and Demetrius Harris. So that's that's decent. I'm happy with that. Uh, the offensive line, Bobby Massey. We need a better right guard. We need a better right guard, that's for sure. Actually, you know who's really easy to get that we could cheese the system? Quentin Nelson. For some reason, he's super easy to get. So Let's just throw in, they need a middle linebacker. How easy is this? All right, we'll throw him in there. Uh, they want a corner as well. Uh, Duke Shelley. And then I'll give you like a pick or something. I'll give you a third round pick. See, look at that, that's no way that should go in. But, all right, we'll pick somebody better to give you besides the garbage that I threw in there. Uh, Darnell Mooney? You want Darnell Mooney? I bet that would go through if I had a second round pick in there. Uh, what about right outside linebacker? I didn't really check that. Uh, Marquise Mingo and Robert Quinn. We could move Robert Quinn to right end because I think we need to. We got some garbage. Bilal Nichols? Trade decline. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll keep Belong Nichols in there because that seemed to bump it up a little bit better. We'll move Robert Quinn to right end. Ooh, that's good. Actually, this might go through straight up. Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right, so we got Quentin Nelson. So we can move our... Uh, that's way too easy to get Quentin Nelson. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, we can move our other left guard, uh, James Daniels. He can go to right guard. And Quinton will be our left guard. Our left tackle is Charles Leno. That's fine, I guess. Uh, we're gonna move. We're gonna move Robert Quinn to left end or to right end, excuse me, to take over for Balon Nichols. Does anybody want Balon Nichols? Ooh, the Dolphins would like Balon Nichols. Do they have a good right outside linebacker that can take Shaq Lawson, Vance Be or Vince Beagle? Uh, anybody I can move to right outside linebacker? Kyle Van Noy. How easy is it to get Kyle Van Noy? Kind of easy. Uh, they want a lot of defense tackle. Ugh, nobody that I want to give up. All right. So we might just have to get forget about getting uh, this guy, Kyle Van Noy. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. Um, what about a third round pick next year? That moved it up even closer so then a fifth round pick this year to get Kyle Van Noy on the team no 
What about a second round pick next year to get Kyle Van Noy on this team right now is good. So we got our new right outside linebacker. We're going to move him to right outside linebacker. Uh, we could do with another defensive tackle, it seems. So who can we move? Uh, yeah, we're going to move Van Noy to right outside linebacker. We don't really need Danny Trevathan, I don't think. Um, we don't need Eric Reed. So we can check and see who wants him. The Panthers want him. So do they have any good defense tackles that we could get, possibly? They got Kawan Short. How good is he, or how easy is he to get? Um, Kawan Short for Eric Reed straight up. Uh, this team would this trade would put your team over the side of the cat. Oh, Kawan's making way too much. Uh, what about Derek Brown, the young rookie? No, too hard to get. Alright. I don't want anybody else. Um Ooh, who was that? Was that the Steelers? Okay, they need a defensive tackle as well, so that's great. Uh, who do they have, though? They have Chris Warmly. All right, yeah, they're in desperate need. <laughs> the Texans need uh, Eric Reed. Well, they don't need him, but they, they like him. Uh, PJ Hall. Ugh. Why does nobody have any good defensive tackles anymore? What happened to the good old days where the defensive tackles are, like, the best position? All right, Vita Vea. How easy is it to get Vita Vea? Not very easy. Um, we may come back to him. I know the Dolphins were interested. I didn't check their defense tackles. I don't think. Who do they have a defense tackle? Uh, Devon Good Good Show. I think Good Show. I think is how you say that. Oh, straight up for for Eric Reed. All right. So we have another defense tackle to help Eddie Goldman. We're going to go back here and change those positions real quickly before I forget. Uh, not depth chart. Nope. Not not yet, at least. I have improved this team, though. At least I think I have. Alright, so we're going to move... First up, we're going to move Cordell Patterson to wide receiver so that he can help our wide receiver core. I don't know why they have him as a running back. Is that what he is now? I don't even know. Once he left the Patriots, I kind of just forgot about him. All right, wide receiver. Save changes. What does he What does he go to? Does he stay as a 79? What is he? He's a 71 at wide receiver. Wow, that's horrible. Why is he that low? That's what he is. <laughs> that's what he's meant to be as a wide receiver. All right, we're going to move Cole Komet, or Cole Met, however you say that, to... Um, can I not move him to the practice squad? Whatever, I don't care. All right, um, left guard, James Daniels. We are going to move you to right guard. He was a 71, I think, right, when he, before I changed him? Because we got Quentin Nelson now, so let's check that out. What is he, a 78? All right, that's perfect. And we got Bobby Massey, 76, a right tackle. Akeem Hicks. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to move... Uh, Kyle Van Noy to right outside linebacker. He's an 86 at left outside linebacker. He's an 86 lobe, but what is he at rolb? He will be something. I don't know yet. Uh, middle linebacker is good. He will be an 86. Okay, perfect. So Robert Quinn can now move to um, right end. He's an 83, it said, I think, right? So... What is he as a right outside or as a right end? That's what he used to play. I don't know why they stand him up and play him and 82. Okay, that's fine. That's better than what we had there. 82, 97. We could do with a better middle linebacker. I don't know. Uh, we probably need another corner. And then Earl Thomas is an 88. What does he change to as a strong safety? You know, let's see if I can give him his right number. I can't give him his right number. I'll give him close to it. Uh, strong safety save changes. He is going to be an 88. Perfect. So we didn't lose anything there. Uh, Eddie Pinero and Pat O'Donnell. We probably need a better kicker, honestly. Um, but we do need a better corner. And we do have picks left. So we could trade some picks to get some better players. Because I think this is only going to be a, a one year thing just to see if we can do it in year one all right 
we need a better halfback, apparently. I don't know why. But let's go through the teams and see if there's a good corner that we could get that's cheap and that's younger but better than the guys that we have. Uh, wait, go back a little bit. Mackenzie Alexander. He had, like, some situation with his father that he was, like, kidnapped or something. <laughs> or, like, stranded in the wilderness. And he had to leave the bubble, apparently. Or not the bubble, but he had to leave uh, training camp. That was crazy. Uh, Josh Norman's a 77. He's about as good as what we got right now, though, and he's old, so... Uh, Greedy Williams is a 75. I need somebody, somebody that's popping. Somebody that will just pop. How easy to get? How easy is it to get Desmond King? I remember on last year's game, it used to be really easy to get Desmond King. Um, we don't need all these strong safeties. Dion Bush for Desmond King. Just fill. <clears throat> Maybe they made it a little harder. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Middle linebacker, this guy. Really hard. Okay, unless they just don't want him. What about Danny Trevathan? They want Danny for Desmond King. Oh, okay. It's gonna be hard to get Desmond King. All right, all right. I understand. I get you. I get where you're coming from. Um. Okay. Who else can we get? Jordan Lewis could be a good option for us, but we need somebody not for the future. Really, we need somebody for now. I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. Right now. Um, Pierre Desir, maybe. Justin Coleman's an 85. Desmond Trufant. Jeff Okuda. How easy is it to get Desmond Trufant? Uh, they would take... What about this guy? Okay, what about Danny Trevathan? Oh, it's really hard to get Desmond Trufant for some reason. I don't know why it would be. It's freaking Desmond Trufant. Uh, or J Desmond Trufant, yeah. Jonathan Jones. It can't be that hard to get Jonathan Jones, can it? He's an 84. They need a robe and a lobe. And a tight end. We could give him that young tight end rookie that we have. Ooh, trade declined. Okay. You know what? I think I'll put Harris in there instead of the young rookie. And then I'll give them a fifth round pick to the Patriots. Take this, please. Don't take it, please. I don't want to give a second round pick for for Cyrus Jones or Jonathan Jones. It's closer. What about a fifth round pick this year? Please take this, please. please. Oh, come on, Patriots. Why you got to be so stingy? Uh you know what? Screw it. I'll give a second round pick. There we go. So we got a better corner. That's perfect. And now we just got to trade like three people for some like draft picks or something. Somebody we don't need. Uh, we need all three of those guys. We don't need Mooney or Wims. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we don't need those guys. Uh, actually, I'll keep Wims. Uh, we don't need this, this guy for sure, and we don't need this guy for sure. So, is there anybody that wants Mooney? Ooh, Chargers would like Mooney. Will you give me a second round pick for him? No, what about a third round pick? Give me something for Mooney. They'll give me a fourth, I know, but can I stretch a fifth too? No, just give me a fourth. There we go. We got some value for those guys. And we have a better corner now. So let's go to the let's go to the depth chart and figure this out real quick. So Trubisky is our quarterback, because he's the focal point of this video. We got Devontae Freeman, David Montgomery, and Tariq Cohen. Um fullback. Uh, I don't care. Commit can, can be there. Allen Robinson, Mike Williams, Anthony Miller, Cor Anthony Miller, Cordell Patterson. And Riley Ridley, and then Javon Wims, um, Jimmy Graham, Vance McDonald, and Cole Komet, uh, Charles Leno, James Mc. No, that's not right. Uh, left guard is yeah, that, that is right. Excuse me. No, wait, Quentin Nelson. He must be starting at right guard then. So I'll switch that real quick. Yeah, there he is. So we'll put James Daniel right there. Oh, I forgot to take. <sighs> course. Of 
put Alex bars there for now. And then I'll go over here. I'll take this, put you there, put a Fetty right there, and then go back to left guard, put Quentin Nelson right there. All right. Did I have a better left guard? No, I didn't. All right, so that's perfect. Then center is Cody White here. Uh, we already saw right guard. Right tackle is Bobby Massey. That's perfect. Left end is Akeem Hicks. Perfect. Right end is Robert Quinn. Defensive tackle is these two boys. All right. Left outside linebacker is not going to be you. It's going to be Khalil, which means Khalil is starting at right outside linebacker, it seems. Yes, he is. So we'll start Mingo there. We'll put Mac back at um, left outside linebacker. And then we'll put Van Noy in there at starting right outside linebacker. Perfect. Easy as one, two, three. And then middle linebacker is Smith and Trevathan. Corners are Fuller, Jonathan Jones, Buster Screen, Jalen Johnson, and Artie Burns. Free safety, Eddie Jackson. Strong safety, Earl Thomas. Kicker, Eddie Pinero. Uh, kick return. Doesn't really matter. Treat Cohen, you can do kick return. That's fine. Uh, right, left end, Khalil Mack. Actually, no, I don't want to... I don't want that. I want right, left end to be Robert Quinn. And then I want the right, right end also to be Robert Quinn. Can I do that? Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> the backup will be Barkevius. Barkevius Mingo. Right defensive tackle to be Akeem Hicks. That's fine. Sub linebacker. Trevathan. Yes, I like that. Eddie Jackson can go in here too. Um... Slot corners, slip, fine. All right, perfect. That looks like a championship team right there. That looks like a championship team. All right, I'm going to simulate to uh, the halfway point of the season, and then I'll see you guys there. We'll evaluate what we need to do. There's no trade deadline, so we can do whatever we want later in the season too. So I'll see you guys at the halfway point. All right, we're back. We are here in week number nine, and we have a record of 5-2-1. and one. We've tied a game. We, As you can see up there in week eight, we just got done tying a game with uh, the Saints. But let's get rid of this Derrick Henry thing. We're going to disregard him because he's, he's just Derrick Henry. It's not like he's going to run all over us. All right. So we've got a lot of players to ne to uh, negotiate contracts with, but that's if I want to continue this. Ooh, let's upgrade Mitch Tabriskie ourselves. We want to give him... Uh, we want to give him the strong arm trait. All right, there we go, Mitch. Upgrade. Give those guys upgrades. Perfect. Now let's check. I want to check. I didn't. What's our scheme? I didn't check our scheme. What's Matt Nagy's scheme? West Coast spread. No wonder we're losing. Yeah, he, he was running a sixty-nine percent scheme fit. Uh, and we're gonna run a three-four under disguise three-four. Uh, we're going to run a base 4-3. Yeah, let's run a base 4-3. Alright. So we're not going to scout any college players, I don't think. Because I still haven't decided. Oh, our team's growing, though. Any free agents so far that we can snag to make this team better? Um, No. What about a wide receiver? There's got to be somebody better than the guy that we have there. Jacoby or Jacoby Myers. All right, I'm surprised that we're five two and one. Honestly, let's uh, simulate a couple more weeks and then see what happens there. We can evaluate towards the end of the season. All right, I simulated a couple weeks. We lost <laughs> more games. We're five six and one right now. Uh, we have a ton of people that need contracts. Allen Robinson needs a contract. There's a lot of people that need contracts. Oh, Mitch needs a contract. All right, so maybe we will only go one season. Um, does Mitch need any more upgrades? I don't care. Let's do that. Put those guys with their upgrades. But I did read... I want to check something real quick. I did read that something said down there that Larry Fitzgerald was cut. Did he get picked up already? Yeah, because Larry Fitzgerald's not here anymore. 
so that might mean that he's on a different team. It would be nice to have Larry Fitzgerald. Cardinals. Wide receivers. He did get cut, but who picked him up? Who picked up Larry Fitz? Who picked up Larry Fitz? Tell me now. Tell me now, please. Please be the Patriots. Aw. Football team? Did they pick him up? No. Oh my god. Who picked up Larry Fitzgerald? Do I have to freaking go? Did he retire? Do I have to freaking go by age? He's a freaking old man. Where's he at? He's not 29, so he's obviously not on the team, or he's not on the roster anymore. Did Larry Fitzgerald retire mid season? <laughs> All right. Larry Fitzgerald just retired midseason, apparently. But as you can see, we're 5 6 and 1. We are outside the playoffs right now, I'm pretty sure. NFC. Uh, yeah, we are sucking. We're above the, the football team, though. That's good. The Giants suck, too. But we are not in the playoffs, and we need to be in the playoffs right now. We need to get Mitch that Super Bowl trophy that he's so desperately wants. I mean, we're at 86 overall team. How are we losing these games? But I'm going to simulate a couple more games, and I'll see where we are. I'll probably simulate to the playoffs, and if we're not in the playoffs, then we'll decide from there what we want to do. Okay, and we're back. We did not make the playoffs. <laughs> we did not make the playoffs. We were... 7, 8, and 1. So, Trubisky does not get a Super Bowl trophy in year number 1. Let's get his strong arm trade up. Come on, Trubisky. What are you doing, bro? But, I don't know if it's possible. I mean, I'll go one more. I'll probably go one more season. Let's, uh... I'll probably go one more season, see if we can do it in, the, in year number two. But other than that, I'll see you guys at the, uh, probably at the off season. I don't know. Free agency, I'll, I'll check in. I don't know. All right, we're back here. Mitch has another um, upgrade that we can do. So we'll give him a strong arm upgrade again. He gets one plus one to throw power. Great. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot of people returning from injury. Kyle Fuller's back. It's going to be an Eagles-Colts Super Bowl. That's interesting. That's really interesting. <laughs> an Eagles-Colts Super Bowl. The Colts have Phil Rivers, though. That's weird. All right. Uh, Auto-generate rookies. Who cares? We don't need, like, Trevor Lawrence or anything in here. Let's just scout some of these top guys, see what we got. Well, we're not going to draft a quarterback, so we don't have to scout. I didn't mean to scout that quarterback. Uh, scout some of these guys. <coughs> Just got a middle linebacker, a left end, a right guard. All right. Perfect. Let's sim to the next week, see who won the Super Bowl. Hopefully next season we can get Mitch a Super Bowl trophy. This team's good. I mean, it's in the high 80s. I don't know why it wouldn't be... I don't know why it wouldn't be making the playoffs. So we need to bring back some of these guys. We need to... Obviously, where's Mitch at? We need to bring back uh, Mitch. Oh, we're not going to have any cap room. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we got to give Mitch what he wants. Is that good enough, Mitch? Okay, you're coming back. So Mitch is gone, or Mitch is staying here. Uh, we got to bring back Allen Robinson. I mean, oh, he's gonna. We're not gonna have any cap room. We're not gonna be able to bring back Allen Robinson. Uh, will you accept that? I have enough cap room. What are you talking about? He's not going to accept this. Yeah, I figured you were. <laughs> we have no cap room, and all these players are going to leave. Um, that's not good. At least we got Mitch back. That's really the only thing. Okay, let's uh, let's go to free agency. We have no money, so let's go to free agency. 
Who's taking all our money? I mean, Khalil Mack has a big contract. But other than that, who has all of our money? Let me check. Khalil Mack has a big contract. Robert Quinn's taking a lot of the money. So is Eddie Jackson. Nick Foles. I forgot about Nick Foles. Okay, we gotta get some of these guys off the team, bro. I can't. I can't, I can't have these. I can't have these guys taking up that much money. We have one million in cap space, and there's some pretty good people in free agency. All right. Okay. 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 I'm trading some of these guys. Robert Quinn off the team. Nick Foles definitely off the team. I can't believe I didn't remember that Nick Foles had 15 million dollars of cap space or of of a cap hit. All right. We have pick 13 though. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Nick Foles, where you at? I skipped you. There you are. Get freaking off the team. Who want? Who even wants you? <laughs> nobody. Of course, nobody wants Nick Foles. Uh. Oh wait. Wasn't looking. Steelers. Take Nick Foles for pick. Second round, please. No. Um. <laughs> give who else? Who else wants to go to the Steelers? They're a good team. Uh, Marcel Aitman, I know you do. And um. Um. J. P. Holtz, you want to go too? I know you do. Yes. Thank you, Nick Foles. Freaking off the team. Robert Quinn. Next. Sorry, my dude, but you're taking way too much money off of my ability to use you. Uh, Texans, do you want to give me a... No, you don't. <laughs> I'd rather have a first-round pick. The Vikings. The Vikings definitely want to give me a first-round pick, but they don't have a good first-round pick. Uh, what do the Bills have? Pick 25. God, these guys are so good. Why are these teams so good? Pick 19. The Cardinals can't have a good... They can't have a, a bad pick. They have to have a, a pick 11? How good do the, the Cardinals do? Who did bad in this year? Pick four. Chargers, thank you. For Robert Quinn. Yes, please. Take him off of my hands. Please. I do not want him. Danny Trevathan, either. Take Danny. I could probably get something else for Danny. I don't want to throw him in here. Who else? Buster Screen's taking six points. Oh, my God. Get off of my freaking team. You know what? I won't take pick four because it's probably going to be too hard to get. But the Cardinals had pick 11, right? So that probably be easier to get. So we'll do that. No, you know what? They had a second round. I guess we can get a second round pick for him. It'd probably be easier. There we go. We got that. So we should have a little bit more room now in the money aspect of it. So we should have enough money now to hopefully... We have negative 10 million. How do we go from... I just traded away all my guys. How did we... How do we go from positive one point something to negative 10 million? We should have money. We have 380,000 in cap space. What? Okay, okay. I'm going to turn off the salary cap because the salary cap is very stupid for some reason. But I will not cheat the system when it comes to signing guys. I will I will obviously sign people that I think is fair to fair contracts. I won't exploit the system and stuff. Um, we do need to get a backup quarterback for Mitchell Trubisky. So let's go with Tyrod Taylor. He doesn't want a lot of money. Uh, 2.3 for one year. That's fine. Yeah, we'll see if he signs that. That's cheap. Not really a lot of money there. Uh, running back, we have David Montgomery. And that's about it. <laughs> so he needs somebody else. Um, nobody else has bids in for these guys. That's interesting. We could try and bring back some of our guys. Uh, we could try and bring back Devontae Freeman and Tariq Cohen, but that obviously didn't work very well. So we might have to... Let's check quickly. Let's We can go back to that. We can check and see if there's anybody else we want to make a big splash on. We probably need to bring back um, Allen Robinson. Um, we're not going to be able to make any big splash at left tackle. We don't need anything at right guard. Center is fine. Uh, right guard is fine. 
Uh, tackle is there's nobody better than than who we got. Um, we might need a backup left end. We'll definitely need another defensive tackle. We could either go with Gerald McCoy or maybe Marcel Darius since McCoy has an offer already in for him. Uh, right end. We need we need a new right end. I don't know who we'd go for though. Oh, left outside linebacker, we don't need one. Middle linebacker, we don't need one. Maybe a backup. Uh, Demario Davis could be a good one. We could move him to middle linebacker backup. Uh, corner, we need a corner, I think. We might need a corner. Free safety, and then Earl Thomas left. So let's bring back Earl Thomas. Uh, give him $5 million, and then about $5 million as a bonus. That seems about pretty fair. 20 million offer for Earl Thomas. That's about that's fair for for Earl for his quality. And then a kicker, uh, kicker, kicker, kicker. Um, probably just one of these two, Zerline or Prater. Let's go Zerline. He's got the he's Greg the leg, baby. He's Greg the leg. We'll give him a two year deal at about 8.3 million for Greg the leg. Nobody's gonna come in for him. All right, so now we can go and make a splash at running back, which is probably where it's going to be. So do we want Aaron Jones or do we want Alvin Kamara? Or Kareem Hunt, honestly. Um, do we want Aaron Jones or do we want Alvin Kamara? Uh, uh, let's go Aaron Jones first since he is the highest rated. So he wants a big deal. We could drop that down to 4.5 and give him a 5 million signing bonus maybe. 47.3 over five years for Aaron Jones. I don't think that's overpaying at all. Uh, and then we got to go back in for Allen Robinson. So we'll drop that down to 10 even and then maybe give him a 7.5 million signing bonus or make that even at 70 mil. We'll give him 70 mil over four years. I think that's fair enough for Allen Robinson. And we're going to need another wide receiver. So let's go down here and see if there's a cheap one. Uh, Chris Conley could be good. Albert Wilson could be good. I want somebody over 75 overall, so we're going to just stay over here. Marquise Lee could be a nice option. Tajay Sharp, Zay Jones, uh, John Ross could be a good option. We could just get A.J. Green. You know what? Let's get A.J. Green. He doesn't have any offers for him. We can get him on a cheap deal. Um, 4.5 probably for A.J. as a signing bonus. Uh, let's make that even. 4.5. Five five, so twenty three million over, um, what is that? Four years or something? So that's not crazy. That's not a crazy amount. We do need another tight end, but nobody really amazing. I don't think we we need Demetrius. We could bring back Demetrius Harris, or we could make bring back the outlaw Jesse James. Um, I kind of want to see if we can underpay for Jordan Reed here. Drop that down. Give him 11 million over two years. See if we can underpay for Jordan Reed there. Um, and I think that's it. I don't think we need to make any more offers. We've got our running back. We've got our wide receiver. Our strong safety is coming back. We just probably need to make some backup decisions. Um, we should probably get a secondary strong safety to back up Earl Thomas. Uh... Let's go for let's go for Ha Ha. Ha Ha could be our backup for two years at 2.5 and about 10 million even. If I can get that down to 10 million even. There we go. 10 million over two years. That's not crazy for a backup. We need a free safety backup. Um There's nobody really here that I'd like. I mean, Marcus Williams, obviously, but we don't need a starter. We need a backup. So I might have to go down here. I don't want to go down into the 60s, though. Is there somebody in the 70s that I can get? Eric Murray, maybe. Jared Wilson, Rayshon Jenkins. Let's get Rayshon Jenkins. See if we can underpay for him for a year at $2 million, And I'll give him about $3.5 million, maybe. Let's go up to $3.5 million. Okay. Three and a half million for a backup free safety. He's not crazy. Uh, corner, Jordan Lewis is already probably going to be taken. I don't want to overpay for him, mostly because he's not going to be a, a guy. Ooh, Jordan, or um, Joe Hayden could be a nice little piece to the puzzle here for a Super Bowl contender. 
if we can give him a 5.5 million. There we go for one year for Joe Hayden. See if he accepts that. Uh, backup right outside linebacker. All these top guys have offers. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get DeMario Davis. Maybe we could trade him. If we give him a, a favorable contract, we might be able to get a trade for him if we underpay. I'll give him a 5 mil signing bonus. And if we can underpay him, lowball him a little bit here. No disrespect, but 25.5 for DeMario Davis is way underpaying him. And maybe we could get something sneaky for him. And I would like to get another left outside linebacker that is a little bit better than the one that we have. JPP, older, but he's better than what we have currently. And if I give him a, a cool 3 million, he'll probably accept that. 3 million for a year for JPP isn't bad. Uh, right us or right end, we do need another right end. So Tack McKinley's gone. Solomon Thomas could be good. Randy Gregory could be good. Uh Mario Addison. I don't know. I, do, I don't know. I don't really really I don't really want to go into a battle with one of these guys cuz they're going to be overpaid. So let's just go with Solomon Thomas. He's 76. That's not bad. If we give him a cool 2 million signing bonus just for signing on for the team. 11 million over two years isn't crazy. Oh, wow, that was a lot of money. <laughs> or that was a lot of points. I didn't think that was going to be a lot of points. Uh, we do need another tackle. Okay, so do I want to go with... Uh, that's the guy that we had last season. He was okay for us. Didn't really do much. But do I want to go with Gerald McCoy, who's already got the Giants coming in for him? But it seems like they're trying to underpay him. Or we could go with Marcel Darius, who has no bids. I'd rather have Darius with no bids than... than uh, Joe McCoy with a bid on him. So I'll see if we can get him for a cool seven and a half million for a year for Marcel Darius. And then this should be the last thing that we need is a left end. Uh, Emmanuel Ogba, maybe. Jabal Sheard. Jabal Sheard fits the system and could be a nice backup for us or a nice trade piece. We're going to have to underpay him, though. I don't want to overpay him, that's for sure. Six and a half million. All right, I think that's everybody that we need to to sign. We filled some some spots. We got some backups, obviously, so that's good. We filled our kicker spot. Did we need a punter? I didn't even check that. Um, we do need a punter. Okay, it's a good thing I remember that. Um, let's just go with Ryan Allen. Ryan Allen's a good punter. At least he was. Uh, one point five. Honestly, dude, you're gonna sign this either way, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you're a sixty nine overall punter, so. Just give him a cool two million for a year. <laughs> All right, there's our punter. So we can go to this. I feel like this is a good free agency session. Let's simulate to the next week, see who accepts, who rejects, and see what happens. Okay, we're back here next week. We got Jabal Sheard accepts. That's good. Tyrod Taylor accepts to be our backup. Allen Robinson accepts. He's coming back. Solomon Thomas accepts. JPP accepts. Marcel Darius accepts. Greg Zerline accepts. Joe Hayden accepts. Aaron Jones accepts. Ha Ha Clinton Dix accepts. Earl Thomas accepts. Jenkins accepts. Beautiful. There's still a few people that didn't. Uh, except yet we still have we're waiting on Demario Davis AJ Green Jordan Reed and Ryan Allen uh, Jordan Reed looks like he's going to sign for the Bills which is fine and Demario Davis looks like the Bengals are gonna come in for him so we could go over here go to tight end and see if there's anybody else we could offer uh, Ricky Seals Jones Jake Butt uh, Greg Olson still doesn't have anybody going in for him I mean why not it's it's Greg Olson he's a Solid player. 11 and a half mil over two years for Greg Olson. I don't think that's overpaying at all. And then uh, right outside linebacker, we're not going to get uh, DeMario Davis, which to be fair, I knew we weren't probably weren't going to get him. I knew somebody would come in for him eventually. But uh, let's just go for Ben Gideon. He's a, a solid uh, out uh, right outside linebacker. 
we can get him for a cool million on the signing bonus. Uh, about maybe give him eight million. Eight million over two years isn't isn't crazy amount of money. And then we can go and simulate this week and see if those guys end up signing. Actually, first I do want to scout some more um, some more players here. We don't need to scout any quarterbacks. Maybe a wide receiver, some corners, um, strong safety, a D tackle, a left tackle, a right tackle. Just some positions of need, basically. And then we will simulate to the next stage. All right, we've got big decision for a fifth-year option. Uh, Quentin Nelson. I'm trying to create a budget for next season. Uh, he's shown a lot of talent, and he might want a long-term contract. Do you agree? Yes, we're going to pick up his freaking option. It's <laughs> In that case, do you want to go ahead and pick up his... Yes! <laughs> it's, it's Quentin freaking Nelson. Of course we're going to pick up his option. <laughs> We're only going another year. This is this is it. Oh, we have another guy that wants it. Uh, Roquan Smith. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick up his option as well. We're not gonna let go of Roquan Smith. We might actually trade Roquan Smith for a better middle linebacker. That could be a that could be a trading piece right there. So Jordan Reed accepts. He oh wow. So we're gonna get Jordan Reed and Greg Olson. Uh oh, I didn't realize he would accept. Uh, Demario Davis obviously rejected. I figured he would, and Ben Gideon accepts. So can I retract my offer for Greg Olson now that Jordan Reed accepts? I can't believe that he did accept. That's a little weird, but all right. I will reject. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I will withdraw the offer for Greg Olson, and it doesn't look like we're going to get AJ Green. So if we go to wide receivers, um, we may need another guy. I figured somebody would come in for him eventually. It just happens to be the Dolphins. We did lowball him anyway, so let's just go for somebody who doesn't have any offers. Nelson Aguilar. We'll go for Nelson Aguilar, give him about $3 million and probably about a $2.5 million signing bonus. That seems about fair. Give him $10 million over two years. That's a lowball offer. And he will probably accept it because he is Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> and we'll do a little bit more scouting on some of these late round or late first round guys. I'm not sure what our uh, I'm not sure what our uh, pick is. I think it was pick 13 or something. I can't remember actually what it was. Uh, we'll just scout some of these guys that are down here. Uh, right tackle, right outside linebacker, right tackle again. There we go. All right. Um. And then we'll simulate to the next side, the final stop of free agency. Okay, so AJ Green re rejected, which we knew was going to happen, and Nelson Aguilar accepts. So that is a pretty solid free agency class, if I if I do say so myself. I mean, I feel like we got some uh, some good quality talent out of out of free agency to um, to bolster this. The basically it was a depth play was this free agency move. That's basically all I was going for was was some some more depth for Mitch to, to work with here as we simulate to the draft. Now the big question is, do we want to trade our pick? So Greg Olson didn't end up signing with anybody. Interesting. Neither did Devontae Freeman. So we might be able to sign those guys. Uh, we might be able to sign some of these guys and trade them for some, some value. That could be a uh, pretty interesting thing. But Alvin Kamara goes to the Ravens. Kareem Hunt to the Bills. Uh, Leonard Fournette back with the Jags. Demario Davis to the Bengals we saw. James White to the Colts. AJ to the Dolphins. But yeah, we could sign some of these higher rated free agents and uh, trade them for some, some value down the road during the season. And possibly, uh, possibly get some better players here. We are an 87 overall team, so it's not like we're a slouch. We should be a lot better than we were last season. Uh, we have pick 13, and then we have two second-round picks. Okay. So is there any way I could pick? No, you know what? We don't need to trade up because we're only doing this season, so the draft picks really don't matter, which is why we don't even really need to draft. We could trade our first-round pick for a position of need, which is right end, it looks like, or right tackle. Maybe we should bolster our our – yeah, we need to get a better right tackle. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to trade our first-round pick. And I'm going to look around the league and see what kind of right ends we can get. 
Jerry Hughes, no. Jarrell Casey, no. Miles Garrett, no. Well, yes, but we're not going to be able to get it. Actually, you know, how easy is Miles Garrett to get for a first round pick? Not very easy. <laughs> I figured it wouldn't be, but I just want to try. And not McKinsey, no. Tack McKinley, no. Melvin Ingram, eh. Maybe. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> I didn't think they'd take that straight up, but whatever. We got a better right end. All right, so we don't have a first-round pick anymore, but we do have Melvin Ingram on the team. So we have Solomon Thomas as his backup. We don't need this Trevor McSwain guy, so we can just trade him for like a seventh-round pick or something. So we got Melvin Ingram. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen, uh, but we don't need those second-round picks either, so we can trade one of them for a right tackle or something. Let's uh, let's see what right tackles are around the league. See if uh, what kind of value we can get. Brian Belaga. Would it be hard to get Brian Belaga for a second round pick? What kind of what kind of stuff are we working with here? Trade decline. Oh wow, it's gonna be easy to get Brian Brian Belaga. Um, I'll give you that right end that we we're talking about. Uh, McSwain. There's McSwain. You can take him. Trade decline. All right, so it's gonna go through as long as I give them another pick, which is like a seventh round pick. So take my seventh from this year and trade acceptance. So we just got Brian Belaga and Melvin Ingram. Uh, I didn't realize Brian Belaga was going to be that easy to trade for, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, trade center. We still have a, the other second round pick, and we can trade uh, Bobby Massey now if we want to. We don't need him anymore because we have Brian Belaga and Bobby Massey's costing a lot of money. But he doesn't really money doesn't really matter because the thing's gone now. So. Um, we do need another, uh, what do we need? Another middle linebacker, probably. Although Roquan Smith is 85 overall. Maybe another backup middle linebacker. What kind of middle linebackers are we working with here in the league? Uh, Logan Wilson, Tremaine Edward, Edmonds, excuse me, Alexander Johnson, Zach Cunningham, Levante David, Devondre Campbell, Drew Tranquil, uh, Lander Va Leighton Vaitna Va Why do I keep messing up the name? Leighton Vander Esch. I don't know why I keep screwing that up. Deion Jones, Fred Warner. How easy is it to get Fred Warner? Uh, probably pretty hard. Mostly because they don't want Danny Trevathan. So we won't even bother. I won't even bother with that because they don't want Danny Trevathan. So, uh, CJ Mosley is the same overall as Raekwon... Roquan Davis, so we don't really need him. Dante Hightower, Nick Kowski, Patrick Queen is a 78. Ruben Foster, Joe Bacci, Bobby Wagner. You know what? Is it hard to get Bobby Wagner? Is it is it hard to get Bobby Wagner? I don't know. Let me just throw Danny out of this trade just to see gauge it. That's actually not as hard as I thought it would be. It's harder to get Patrick Mahomes than it is to get Bobby Wagner. But we probably don't need to get him. Um, we probably can't get him, honestly. Jayon Brown and Rashawn Evans. Um, how hard is it to get you? Let me just throw in a third round pick in case, or a fourth round pick in case that goes through. Because I didn't expect that other one to go through for Melvin Ingram. Uh, ooh. What about that second round pick? Oh, wow, it's really hard to get you. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be that hard to get you, but it is. That's cool. That's cool. We got other options here. We got Devondra Campbell. We got Leighton Vander Esch. What are, we, what are we talking about here with Leighton? Really hard. Okay, I got you. I got you. I feel you. Roquan McMillan. Deion Jones. It seems like it's hard to get a lot of these good middle linebackers. What about Joe Schobert? He's 84 overall. Can't be that hard to get Joe Schobert. What? Are you kidding me? You're telling me it's that hard to get Joe Schobert? <laughs> CJ Mosley. What about Avery Williamson? He's not that high overall. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. What about a fourth round pick? How much does that take off? It takes off a lot, but it's easier to get him than it is a lot of guys. So do we have anybody that we want to give away here? Aaron Jones, David Montgomery. I forgot to get another running back. Um, Anthony Millie. Uh, we don't need all these wide receivers. Why do we have so many wide receivers? Uh, Greg Ward or Javon Wims? Ooh, they want both of those guys. Okay, I'll give you Javon Wims. Trade declined. And, um, you can have... You can have, uh... uh who do you want? Um, you want this tight end? Jesper? You want Jesper? 
you you kind of want Jesper. <laughs> uh, I'll just give you a pick or something. You can have my sixth round pick next year for Avery Williamson. No, you can't because you didn't accept it. So um, what about my fifth round pick next year? Will you take that for Avery Williamson? There you go. So we got another middle linebacker. Now we can get rid of Danny Trevathan. All right, let's trade. Uh, not Avery Williamson, Danny Trevathan. Let's see what we can get from for him. The Lions would like his services. Can we get the eighth round pick or eighth overall pick? No, I didn't think we were gonna be able to. Um, what kind of team are we working with here with the Lions? DeAndre Swift, Carry On Johnson. How hard it would it be to get DeAndre Swift for Danny? Oh, straight up for Danny. Okay. All right, so we got a third string running back that I didn't think was going to go through. So we don't need this guy. We'll just release him probably. Um, so we got three running backs here. I didn't think that was going to go through. Uh, we have our quarterback in Mitch. We have probably another. We need a better wide receiver, honestly. Uh, Patriots. We need somebody to for Mitch to throw to. Uh, Mohamed Sano, Julian Edelman, Cooper Cup. How hard is it to get Cooper Cup? Is it hard to get Cooper Cup? Yeah, it is. I didn't. I didn't realize how hard it was to get Cooper Cup. What about Robert Woods? Robert Woods is just as good as Cooper Cup is. It's easier to get Cooper Cup, or it is easier to get Robert Woods. That might be the move to get this man right here. Throw in a fifth round pick, and it almost goes through. Actually, um, they want a middle linebacker. Well, we just got rid of Trevathan. Do you want this dude? Oh, they do. So this might go straight up. I can't believe they actually want this, dude. So this means that we could trade. Let's try this out. All right, so we may need that fifth round pick. That means I can possibly trade that other wide receiver. Uh, what was I giving them? A fifth round pick? That means I can possibly trade the other wide receiver um, for something else. Uh, let's just give them. That's what I just did. So we'll give them. We'll add that into this pick. A six round pick. Trade declined. Um, we might have to offer a little bit more. How about our fourth round pick from next year? Trade accepted. So we got a better wide receiver for Mitch to throw to, and now we can trade that other wide receiver that we had on here. So we got Allen Robinson, Robert Woods, Mike Williams, and Nelson Aguilar. So who do we want to get rid of here? Anthony Miller or Nelson Aguilar? Let's trade Anthony Miller. He's probably got more value than Aguilar does. Um, ooh, somebody wants him over here. Who was it, the Bills? Yes, it was. So what do the Bills got that I want? <laughs> um, picks. I don't really need picks anymore. We're really down to the nitty-gritty here. Um, I don't need a running back. I don't need another wide receiver. I don't need a tight end, a left tackle, left guard, center. How hard is it to get your center? Not hard, but I don't really have a lot of draft pick. You know what? I think I will... Just go for a draft pick from the good old-fashioned Bills because I need some more draft capital. So two picks from the Bills is too hard to get. What about a second-round pick? Trade accepted. So we have some more draft capital. Um, I don't think we need anything else. I think this team is pretty much set. I mean, we're 88 overall team. This team is good. I've built a monster of a team. I have built an absolute... Juggernaut. Um, let's just get rid of this dude. He's he's bothering me. Uh, is anybody interested in him? Probably not. So let's just take the Packers and give me a seventh round pick from next year. Not even a seventh. We're just going to release this kid. Nobody's going to give me anything for him. All right. So we're working with a two second round picks this year, uh, which isn't bad, but we could flip those picks for someone else so that might be what we need to do since we aren't going to um we aren't going to go any further than this this next season so let's go to defensive tackle see what we can get for two second round picks what can we get for two second round picks and a sixth honestly so uh vita vea will you take vita will we take vita vea from you no we won't you're too good um, Linville Joseph, Chris Jones. How much do they value Chris Jones? How much do they value Chris Jones? They don't actually value him that much. Uh, you know what? 
if we drop the sixth round pick and throw in that first from next year. Oh, that's so close, bro. That is so close. What do they want? They need a middle linebacker. Well, if we shouldn't have got rid of Trevathan. Uh, you want Josh Woods? No, they don't want Josh Woods. Um, they want a left outside linebacker. You want Travis Travis Gibson? You don't want Travis Gibson. Why not? He's a good player. He's a quality, quality player. Uh, center, we've got Cody Whitehair. Uh, do you want Sam Mustafa? <laughs> you obviously don't want Sam Mustafa. Uh, corner, 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 corner. Uh, Jonathan Jones, Kyle Fuller, Joe Hayden, Jalen Johnson. Uh, we got a lot of corners. Holy crap. Um, Duke Shelley, possibly? It, it's better. <laughs> uh, you want Kevin Tolliver? No, I don't think we're going to be... Okay. We're not going to get Chris Jones. That's fine. We don't really need Chris Jones. I was just kind of hoping that we would somehow get Chris Jones, but that's okay. We can keep on looking. DeForest Buckner's here. Um, Fletcher Cox. How hard is it to get Fletcher Cox? Not. Oh wow, that's easier to get than. That's easier to get than. Uh, Chris Jones is. So what if we throw in that first round pick, straight up for Fletcher Cox? Um, okay. Uh, what about a second round pick, and we throw in that Josh Woods kid? Uh, say yes. What about if I throw in the other second round pick? Two second rounds for Fletcher is almost there. You know what? We might have to throw in that first round pick for Fletcher Cox, but I don't think this is overpaying for er, for Fletcher Cox because he's Fletcher freaking Cox. And now let's go and trade some of those corners for a pick or something. Because we got a lot of freaking corners. Uh, we don't need any of you. So you can all go, ooh, wow. The Jaguars or was it the Giants? Who was it? 49ers. Let's see if we can get George Kittle. How hard is it to get George Kittle? Not as hard as I thought. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like zero. Uh what about what about Trent Williams? Ooh. Alright. I see you out here. Kevin Tolliver? You want Kevin Tolliver? Do we have any picks left? <laughs> Not really. Alright, you know what I might do? I might take... I might take those two guys... Or two of those guys. I might take two of those guys. Trade for a pick. Like a second round pick. There we go. Got that. And then we'll back out of here because that's what we have to do. Because Madden's broken, apparently. Franchise mode, at least. And then we'll go back in here. We will grab our freshly minted second round pick. And we will grab Kevin Tolliver. Kelvin Tolliver, sorry. And we will go to the 49ers. And we will trade them their pick back. But in return, they'll give us Trent Williams. Trade to Clyde. Ah. <sighs> Uh, do you want Duke Shelley? You do want Duke Shelley. Give me Trent Williams. God dang it. Steven, Steven Denmark, you want him? Okay, okay, okay. So here's what we do now. We trade... We trade Duke Shelley for a third round pick from the Giants. Or from whoever wants Duke Shelley. Is it just the 49ers that want Duke Shelley? Come on, don't be just the 49ers who want Duke Shelley. God dang it, it just is. Uh, or it is just. Does anybody want Denmark? The whole country of Denmark, does anybody want them? No, it's just the 49ers. So we will take your fourth round pick from this year. You will accept this trade. Because it's Madden. And we will go back out of here. We will trade... We will trade the picks that we just got, plus Kelvin Tolliver, for Trent Williams, 
back to the 49ers because that's how Madden logic works. Uh, though we won't need Charles Leno, honestly. Um, corner. Uh, how many corners do we have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just sign one, I guess. Um, because they want him. So we'll take this and we'll take this. And this should go through once we get to the good old-fashioned 49ers. And we get to all in Trent Williams. And accept, please. Wait, what? Why does they, they don't want Kevin Tolliver, Kelvin Tolliver anymore? Because we traded them too many corners. Duh, I'm such an idiot. They're not interested in Tolliver anymore because they don't, because of um, Trent William. We traded them all those corners. Oh, God, I thought I could cheese the system. You don't want your picks back for real, though? And nobody wants Tolliver anymore. God dang it. All right, well, we got these two picks now that we can trade for something. Uh, how easy is it to get back to Yari? Is it easy to get back to Yari? No, I didn't think so. What about Isaiah Wynn, possibly? Stanley, Teron Armstead, uh, Laramie Tunsil. How easy is it to get Laramie Tunsil for these two picks? It's really hard to get Laramie Tunsil. Taylor Lewan. Jonah Williams, Deion Dawkins, Jedrick Willis. He's a rookie, so we won't be able to get him. Eric Fisher, Tyron Smith. How easy is it to get you, my good sir? Really hard. Fantastic. I can't believe I did that. I should have I should have known what I was doing. I didn't pay attention. Jay Matthews? Uh Trent Williams, come to come come to us, please. You were interested in him. You know what I might do? There's still those free agents in here. We can cheese the system even more to make this team as good as possible because that's not what I wanted to do because, oh, God, we can't because free agency is not basically over yet. Well, we still have those two picks. So what I'll do is I will... Oh, I can't because we'd, we'd use them. We'd use them on a player. They'd have no value after the draft because they'd be a player. God, this sucks. I screwed this up. Um... What we do is, we trade four picks next year. So give me a, a second and a fourth from next year from the Bengals. Declined. You're telling me that I can't get a second and a fourth from next year? Come on, Bengals. Stop being stingy. We'll go to the Bills. See what the Bills have to say. That's better. We can throw in that sixth from this year because we don't need that. All right, so we got a second round pick from next year. That's good. Um, okay, so let's draft or let's skip the draft and go straight to the new season. I'll see you guys then. Okay, we have to upgrade some players here. Uh, just Avery Williamson. I feel like I've built a really good team here. I feel like, I mean, I've built an 89 across the boards, so it can't be that bad. Uh, but let's go to the preseason. Okay, here in the preseason, now we can sign those free agents. I've given Mitch everything that I can. Uh, Devontae is the only one here, so we'll sign him back so we can trade him. Maybe now they'll give me uh, Trent Williams. And we'll take John Ross as well because he's a young wide receiver, and there's teams that are looking for young wide receivers out there. Uh, so we'll take John Ross. Anybody else that we could take here to use as trade bait? Not really. All right. So let's grab... Those two guys, throw them in a trade with that second round pick for possibly Trent Williams. Um, let me go over here to the 49ers. Let's grab Trent Williams. And we'll grab Devontae Freeman, that second round pick. Devontae Freeman, and we'll grab, uh, was it a wide receiver? It was, it was John Ross. Okay, so... All that for Trent Williams and trade accepted. So we got a new left tackle. Trent Williams is in. That is perfect. Um, now we don't need that left tackle, Charles Leno. And we don't really need Bobby Massey either. Because we got Brian Bulaga. Uh, let's trade by. Let's see who wants either of these guys. There's a lot of... Ooh. Who do the Lions have that I can take for two guys? 
that we possibly need. Um, I've given, I've given my all to these to Mitch Trubisky. I've put everything I can into this team. Can we get Darren Waller for one of these guys for Charles Leno? Yes, we can. Yes, we freaking can. Trade declined. But now we have next year's picks to work with. Trade accepted. So we trade Charles Leno for Darren Waller. Oh, man, I'm making big money moves here. This team is good. This team is Super Bowl caliber. I feel like I've built a team to be Super Bowl champions here. And Mitch is our quarterback. Uh, now we don't need either of you guys so we can trade the both of you and we can trade Bobby Massey as well so who wants any of these guys uh Falcons are looking let me just quickly go and see who wants Vance McDonald okay there's a guy that cute few guys oh three Steelers want all three can we get David DeCastro or Juju Smith both give me both no I didn't think that was gonna happen what about uh I want David DeCastro, but can I get something else? I don't even know if this will go through. Oh, well, so we got a fourth round pick for all three of those guys. I might have been able to get a higher pick. God, I'm making this team so good. I am making this team so freaking good, bro. We have Brian Belaga. We have David DeCastro. Now, we don't need James Daniels anymore. We need a better center. Is the only thing. Then this lo offensive line will be freaking amazing. Um, what about wide receiver? No, we're good on wide receiver. Tight end. We're still good on tight end. Let's see if they, anybody wants Jesper. Does anybody want Jesper? Oh, everybody wants this man. Nobody wants Jesper, but that's okay. Because we're looking for a better center. All right, Mitch Morse, Corey Lindsey, J.C. Treader, Ryan Jensen, Questenberry, Kelly, Karras, Jason Kelsey, Jason Kelsey. Not easy, and they don't want my man, so we won't go for him. Linder? Linder? Brandon Linder, possibly? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. They want him. Thank you. So let's throw in a fourth rounder. Let's throw in a seventh rounder. See what happens. Give me him. Almost. It'll take a fourth rounder from next year as well to get this man, Brandon Linder. There we go. Better center on the books. God, this team is good, bro. Now we can trade our center for possibly a better defensive player. Who wants Cody Whitehair? Who wants Cody Whitehair? Cody Whitehair on the board. God, everybody wants him. I love it. I love it. Give me Von Miller, please. Give me Von Miller, please. Oh, straight up for Von Miller. Oh, I didn't think that was going to go through. That was just a joke. That was a freaking joke. But we can move Von Miller to right outside linebacker and trade Kyle Van Noy. God, I'm making big money moves here. I am making freaking big money moves, bro. Chandler Jones? Not as hard as I thought it'd be. Uh, Buddha Baker? Peterson? You know what? We can get Chandler Jones and move him to end. What do we have here at end? We have Akeem Hicks and we have Melvin Ingram. So we don't really need another end. So let's we can move on here um, to another team. Who else wants Kyle Van Noy? The Chiefs. Oops, that's not what I want to do. The Chiefs want Kyle Van Noy. Can we get Patrick Mahomes? More than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, all right, next team. Who else wants him? The Dolphins want him. Do they have anybody on defense that I want? Not really. The Eagles want him and the Falcons want him. All right. Grady Jarrett. Deion Jones. Let's go back up to the Eagles real quick. Uh, 
No, not seeing anything there. The Giants won. We've already traded too much with the the 49ers, so we can go here and see if we can get Saquon. Ugh, that's close. I don't know if I want to give up a lot for Saquon, though, because we already have some decent running backs. So, Josh Lambeau is their best player. Uh, what about Josh Allen? No, dead, because they don't want him even. The Jets and the Lions, okay. Damon Harris, CJ Mosley. Mm, maybe we should just keep what we have. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I've built a freaking monster team. I think we're just going to keep what we have here. I'm going to move Von Miller to right outside linebacker. I've built a Super Bowl contender. I mean, you got to be kidding me. If, if this team doesn't win the Super Bowl, then I'm freaking losing my mind because this team is like one of the best teams I've ever built in any Madden game. We'll move on to right outside linebacker. Does he grow or does he stay at the overall what overall is he he's a 92 still okay so look at this team we got fletcher cox khalil mack quentin nelson von miller david DeCastro, trent williams aaron jones alan robinson eddie jackson brandon linder darren waller akeem hicks brian balaga earl thomas look at this freaking team i have built a god squad next to trubisky all he has to do is hand it off to one of the running backs and just freaking just go <laughs> that's all he needs to do I've given you everything, Mitch. If you can't do this, then you're just a bust. If you can't lead this team to the Super Bowl, then I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> there's there's no saving you. There's no saving you if I can't get you to the Super... If you can't win the Super Bowl here. But oh, hopefully he will. I'll see you guys at week one of the regular season. All right. So we're here at week one of the regular season. We absolutely killed the preseason because this team is good, bro. This team is freaking good. All Mitch has to do is hand the ball off <laughs> or just check down to one of my many receivers that I have for him and let the defense handle it. Let the defense handle the situation. This team is 92 overall, 93 offense, 91 defense. I've built a God squad for Mitchell Trubisky. If he can't do it, there's no saving him. Look at this team. Look at this team I've built for him. He's got Allen Robinson, Robert Woods, Mike Williams, Nelson Aguilar, Aaron Jones, David Montgomery, and DeAndre Swift, Jimmy Graham, Jordan Reed, and uh, where'd Darren Waller go? Oh, there he is. That's fullback. <laughs> Darren Waller, Jaron Reed, uh, Jordan Reed, and Jimmy Graham as his tight ends. He's got a masterful offensive line here. I've built him a crazy offensive line. And his defense is freaking amazing as well. Khalil Mack, Roquan Smith, and Von Miller, Earl Thomas, Eddie Jackson, Jonathan Jones, Joe Hayden, Kyle Fuller, uh, is that Jalen Johnson? Uh, Keem Hicks, Eddie Goldman, Fletcher Cox, Jabal Sheard, Mar uh, Marcel Darius, Solomon Thomas, Melvin Ingram, Avery Williamson, Kyle Van Noy, God, JPP, this team is freaking baller. If they can't win a Super Bowl here, then I'm freaking giving up. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving up. All right, I'll go to mid. I'll go to mid season. See what happens, and I'll bring you guys back in then. All right, and we're back. I haven't checked the record yet because, as you can see, week eight was a buy, so I don't know what our record is. Six and one, baby. All right, this team has potential to get Mitch his first Super Bowl trophy. I have built a. Tremendous team around you, Mitch. You better freaking do this. God dang it, Mitch. If you can't win at Super Bowl here, you're just a horrible you're just a horrible person. And a quarterback. Both. <laughs> we got a lot of frustrated people here. Um God, this team's so good. He's got a 95 offense around him. What else do you want me to do? <laughs> if we weren't winning, I would be so frustrated right now. Everybody's growing. Even Mitch is growing because of the team I've built around him. God, people should give me an award for this. The struggles that I had to go through. We are top of the division in the NFC North. We got a lot of frustrated people here. Um, I'm going to keep simulating until the end of the season, and I'll see you guys hopefully, not even at the wild card, hopefully at the divisional round of the playoffs. Hopefully that's where we're at. Okay, we're here in the wild card round. 
because we went 11 and 5 and we made the playoffs, but we 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 didn't make the we didn't win the division. We actually we did win the division. How did we not make the How did we lose the wild card game? Or not lose the wild card game, but how did we win the division and still freaking playing in the wild card game? I don't know. Actually, I do know because we're the division win, so we have to play the team that made the wild card. Duh. But let's upgrade some players. Um, is there anybody like Mitch? How's Mitch doing? God, I gave him such a good team, bro. And he went 11 and 5. You should have went 16 and 0, Mitch. What are you doing? 4,000 passing yards, 29 TDs, 20 interceptions. Mitch, what are you doing, bro? 20 interceptions with this God Squad? Nobody had over 1,000 yards. Nobody even here had 1,000 yards. Allen Robinson was close. Mitch, what are you doing? You thought Mike Williams was a good receiver, so you threw it to him for eight touchdowns. But this offensive line, God, what is going on here, Mitch? Run away. You're fast. Why are you getting sacked 11 times from Trent Williams' side, from the left tackle? God, what's going on here? Who had picks? Anybody with picks? Uh, Eddie Jackson with three. Uh, any defensive touchdowns? No? Any safeties? No? Come on, guys. All right. God, Mitch. 20 interceptions? What are you freaking doing? I gave you a literal god squad, and yet you throw 20 interceptions when you got wide receivers out the wazoo. I literally couldn't have given you anything else. You didn't make any of those teams because you're trash. All right, if we lose this freaking wild card game against the Bucks, Tom Brady's probably not even the quarterback. Let me check real quick. Brady's retired probably after one year because that's how Madden works. They don't understand the TB12 method. Uh, is Brady still here? Quarterback? Brady's still here. Wow, okay. So he doesn't retire after year one. That's good to know. That is good to know, but he's still there. Please, 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 please beat the Bucks in the wild card round. Come on, Mitch. Come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. We're playing the Seahawks, baby. 38-24. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Mitch. But now we've got... Now we've got the Seahawks, who we uh, did lose to in the regular season. I do remember that. I remember seeing that. Let's check the Seahawks roster real quick. See who they got. They still got Russell, obviously, and Bobby Wagner. Uh, they got Jamal Adams still, Tyler Lockett, Chris Carson, Shaquille Griffin, DK Metcalf. God, this team's good. This team's real good. I'm scared. But they do have some key injuries, I, I did see. So, uh, Do we have anybody injured? I don't even know. We don't. But they've got Rashad Penny and Shaquem Griffin injured. Wait, what was Shaquem's injury? I didn't check. I want to check that again. Upper arm fracture. <laughs> you think it's the arm that he doesn't have? Or the hand that he doesn't have? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Never mind. Never mind. On to this game. Hopefully we can beat them. Please make the NFC Championship game, Mitch. Please make the NFC Championship game, Mitch. Come on. You have a god squad. You have a freaking god squad. I close my eyes. Come on, Mitch. Come on. Yes! Let's go! We're playing the Saints in the NFC Championship game. Let's go, Mitch! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Carry this team, Mitch! Carry this team! Let's check the Saints out. Do they still have Drew Brees? Does Drew Brees retire after year one? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that's the football team. Nope. Uh, they got Michael Thomas, Teron Armstead, Cameron Jordan, Ryan Ramchick, Marshawn Lattimore, Drew Brees, Eric McCoy, Emmanuel Sanders, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Andrews Pete, Malcolm J. Oh my God, this team's better than the Seahawks. <sighs> Pray for me. They got Drew Brees and Michael Thomas. That's all we need to worry about, really. Please, Mitch. Please, Mitch. Please, Mitch. Win me this game. Come on. Come on, Mitch. You've got a God Squad. You've got a 92 overall team with you. Win this game, Mitch. 
Yeah, we're playing in the Super Bowl, baby, against the Patriots. Oh, God, Mitchell Jabriski, this could be it. This could be it, baby. Oh, my God, Mitchell. Yes. Carry this team, Mitchell Trubisky. Carry this team. Prove to everybody that you're not garbage. If you actually have a team around you, you can win. The Patriots, who do they have on the team? They still have Cam? Or did Cam leave after year one? Does Cam leave after year one on the Patriots? They have Gilmore, Shaq Mason, Devin McCourty, Joe Tooney, uh, Dante Hightower, David Andrews, J.C. Jackson, Sonny Michelle, Isaiah Wynn, Julian Edelman, John Simon. John Simon's a captain? Good for him. Uh, still have Cam. Uh, nobody really knew on this Patriots team. Everybody else is the same. They don't really spend any money because they don't have any money. Trust me, I know. I'm a Patriots fan. Um, but they got Chris Conley, uh, who's new. All right, all right. Same team. We can beat this Patriots team. Come on, come on. Throw it back to 85, baby. That hurts me to say it because I'm a Patriots fan, but throw it back to 85. Win me a Super Bowl, baby. Please, God, Mitch, win me this Super Bowl. You know what? We're going to go into the game. And we are going to... We are going to play the game. Not play the game. We're going to go and sim it until we get to the fourth quarter and see what's going on. I'll see you guys in there, baby. Come on, Mitch! Tonight. All right, we are here. We're ready to super sim. We're going to jump forward to the next quarter. Uh, not down. Okay, seven three. That's good. Seven three. Seven three to, to start the second quarter. End of the second quarter. Ten three. Good job, boys. No, ten ten. Okay. Twenty four to ten in the third quarter. Come on, Mitchell. 31 to 10, baby. It looks like we're gonna. Oh my god, 38 to 10. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too excited here. Um, 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 um. Simulate to play all offense. And then skip the moment. Skip the moment. Okay, we're jumping in here. We're jumping in. Play full game. We got a minute left. We're on defense. The Patriots are about to score. But this game's over. Mitchell Trubisky's going to win a Super Bowl, baby. In year two, we rebuilt the Bears. One of the worst teams in the league. And mainly kept Mitchell Trubisky as our quarterback, which was the goal of the whole video. We just needed to put people around him. We just needed to put somebody around Mitchell. Who was good enough? Oh, good block! Good deflection there. Uh, is that Earl Thomas? I think that was Earl Thomas. I think I gave him number 28. Yeah, Mitch, clap! Because you know you're gonna win a Super Bowl, baby. Let's freaking go! This hurt. This hurts because I'm beating the Patriots, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do for the content, baby. 34 seconds. The Patriots kick the field goal and it's good. But we're winning a Super Bowl. We're winning a Super Bowl with Mitchell Trubisky as our quarterback. I cannot freaking believe we actually succeeded in this. I thought I was going to be done. But I found my groove with those uh, trades during the regular season last in the second uh, year. So found my groove. I traded for so many people. Oh, I cheesed the system, but it had to happen. It had to freaking happen. To make a, that's the only way you can make Mitchell Trubisky look like a competent quarterback. Oh man, we're winning a Super Bowl. Aaron Jones breaks a run, baby. We're gonna call a timeout here because I want to get some throws with Mitch in. Throw to this team. We're in Jerry's world. We are in Jerry's world right now. I'm going to hot route Robert Woods and send him on an out route. Just in case I had, I need a backup option. Go, Mitch. Go, Robert. Make a run, Robert. Ah! Oh! Robert Woods, baby! Oh, jerk move. Oh, I couldn't do it. But he got knocked out of bounds. Oh, Mitchell Trubisky got 382 yards and four touchdowns in the Super Bowl. God, this is so good. Mitchell Trubisky's going to win the Super Bowl. Can I get him five touchdowns? Five touchdowns in the Super Bowl for Mitchell Trubisky. Can it happen here? No! Not yet, at least. 
Oh, God. Eight seconds left before Mitch can hold the Super Bowl trophy in his hands. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. Hot route. Jordan Reed. Block release cross. Give it to me. Eight seconds. Hit the money. There's Robert Woods. One. There it is. A touchdown for Mitchell Trubisky. Five touchdowns in the Super Bowl. With one second left, Mitchell Trubisky is going to win a Super Bowl in year number two. Oh, God, that was crazy lag. We're going to miss this. Oh, God, that was some nasty lag on the extra point. Matt needs to fix that for sure. But it doesn't matter because Mitchell Trubisky is going to carry a Lombardi back to Chicago. Just punt that away. They'll knee it down, and then we'll have one more play with Cam Newton. I'm not sure what they're going to do here. Oh, they're going to lob it. Might as well. Look at this defensive line, bro. Von Miller, Fletcher Cox, and Khalil Mack. Oh, my God. I built such a good team here. Pick it off, please. Pick it off, please. No, we just swatted it. But there we go, baby. Mitchell Trubisky's won a Super Bowl in year number two. Even though it's the same celebration frame by frame every year in Madden for the Super Bowl. I don't care because I'm too freaking excited that we just won a Super Bowl in year number. It took two years, bro. Only two years to win a title with Chicago and with, with, with Mitchell Trubisky. God, I am a god at rebuilding. I'm a literal rebuilding god. It only took me two years to build this Bears team into what it is. Oh my lord. Von Miller with a championship. Knockoff Bel Bill Belichick has to run away. <sighs> Come on, get rid of the highlights. I don't want to see any of the highlights. I want to see some Mitchell Trubisky holding the Super Bowl trophy. Give me Lombardi. Give me Mitchell Trubisky holding the Lombardi. That's all I want. That's all I want to see. Ooh, Robert Woods with the money. That was a good catch that he made. <laughs> and then to drive himself into the end zone for a touchdown. Five passing touchdowns for Mitchell Trubisky. And he's the MVP of the Super Bowl. 407 yards, five touchdowns, no picks for Mitchell Trubisky. He showed up in the biggest game. Mitch shows up in the biggest game and wins the MVP. Oh, my God, I'm so excited right now. Yes, give me Mitchell holding that trophy. Thumbnail it, baby. Thumbnail it. Let Mitch hold it. Don't let... Is that Roquan Smith holding it? There it is. Mitchell has done it. He's climbed the mountain. Thumbnail it, baby. Mitchell has won a Super Bowl. Oh, we got to check these stats. Cam had no touchdowns in that game. I thought he scored one. Uh, Mitch had a 142.8 rating. 27 of 39. Uh, let's go to the Bears. Uh, 407 yards, 69% completion, five touchdowns, no picks. God, Mitchell, you did so good. Uh, Aaron Jones, 16 rushes, 90 yards, one touchdown. Allen Robinson had six catches for 61 yards. Robert Wood had, Woods had six catches for 98 yards. Darren Waller, five for 57. Aaron Jones had three for 106 and a touchdown. He must have had one big gain. That's crazy. Um, any picks or anything in the game? Nobody picked off Cam. I didn't really notice. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. But who led tackles? Who led tackles? Haha -ha Clinton Dix with 10. Khalil Mack, 7. Fletcher with 7. Jones with 6. All right, all right. Greg the Leg had 2 for 2. Ryan Allen was two for or 1 for 1 punting. Uh, Greg Ward had punts. But here it is. The man of the hour, Mitchell Trubisky, wins the Super Bowl in year number 2. God, I am such a good rebuilder, bro. All right, back here to recap and wrap up this uh, rebuild here. Hey, I got a contract extension. Cool. <laughs> but we've won a Lombardi with Mitchell Trubisky. That was the entire goal of this video. This entire rebuild was to build a team around Mitch as good as possible to see if he's not really a bum or if he just has a bad team around him. And it turns out that if you put a 93 overall team around him, he's going to be a good quarterback. <laughs> but this is the final squad that won a Super Bowl in only year number two, man. Only year number two. Obviously, we have a few uh, Bears that stayed around. Allen Robinson, David Montgomery, Mitch, obviously. Um, nobody else. Really. Jimmy Graham is still here from the original team. Uh, nobody on the offensive line, that's for sure. 
And then on the defensive side of the football, we have uh, Eddie Jackson, Khalil Mack stayed around, Roquan Smith is still here, um, Kyle Fuller is still here, Akeem Hicks, Eddie Goldman, um, Jalen Johnson is still here. So a lot of Bears, original Bears players are still here, but this team, this might be one of the best teams I've ever built in, in Madden. I mean, it's just so good. But that is going to do it for this rebuild. If you guys want to see any more of these rebuilds with a specific player or a specific team or a specific coach, uh, let me know down below a specific situation that you want to see. Put it down in the comments, and I will obviously do it because I love you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button down below as well. It only takes a few seconds at that, and you want to join the Juice Club because who wouldn't? It's fun here. And that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!